Now, I've been told that your average hovercraft exerts about as much pressure on the ground as a seagull standing on one leg. So, to prove the gentle touch of the mighty hovercraft, we're going to put it to the egg test. Let the experiment begin. And my hovercraft of choice for this demonstration? Nothing less than the 1969 two-man hoverhawk that Ranulf Fiennes took on his exploration of the White Nile. Ugh. So, yes, we're in a bit of a, a, a period time machine here. It's, it's very 60s, it's very Thunderbirds, it's very uh, sort of Danger Man, sort of early James Bond and the Saint. All these things are conjured up by sitting in this uh, extraordinary machine. It's powered by three motorcycle engines, ostensibly. One for lift and two for propulsion. I'm going to try and fly over 30 eggs. Wish me luck. Ah. Frankly, it's not the easiest thing to steer. Ah. Well, on the face of it, our hoverhawk friend here has failed the egg test. It has to be said. <clears throat> ah, but look at this. Look at this. I would say that the skirt actually caused the damage to those eggs, and the actual downward, inward pressure created by the hovercraft has actually not damaged these eggs at all. And look, look at them. They're all intact. They're all intact, so in fact, our experiment has been an absolute success.